on the railway, government subsidy. The railways have been built, uh, bailed out to £16 they billion pounds to keep them afloat. The rail network doesn't well, work properly. They didn't need They didn't need to be bailed out in that way. Well, who's going to bail them out then? They needed to be subsidised because these private sector operators are ripping the country off by taking profit. While they were taking that subsidy, and our members worked all the way through that, by the way, that pandemic. Indeed. They paid themselves £400 million of profit from that subsidy, and the, the rolling stock uh, leasing companies were taking £200 million of profit out of the system, where their trains were were uh, stacked up in the siding. So we've got a completely corrupt railway system, which the Tory party has invented, and then they claim they have to, to give those private sector operators subsidy. The people that I negotiate across the table with are drawing salaries of in excess of half a million pounds while telling our people you can't have a pay rise for four years. My members behind me here have not had a pay rise for four years on the trot. I, mate, let, me just, let me just bring in Dr. Rene. Dr. Rene. Hi, Mick. I understand completely what you're saying about the people you're negotiating with taking half a million pound salaries and shareholders. Of course I do. The only thing I'm going to ask you is the last time that the train companies were nationalised, they were appalling. Absolutely No, they weren't. Appalling. That's completely were. untrue. But they no, were. Weren't. They didn't work. They, they certainly didn't work any better than they do now. They were always late. We never yeah, seemed they to were find a solution. They were completely... Well, this is just a cliche that you're you're bandying around that you've picked up from somewhere. The railways worked very well under British Rail. They did not. And they were, they were always they were, late. They were dirty. Are you the gonna rolling let me, stop. Are you, Carry on. Are you going to let me finish? If you want to ask me a question, you Carry must on. let me finish it. The railways were completely under-subsidised. Under British Rail, the last year of British Rail uh, operation, it was subsidised for £1 billion. Under the private sector, as you've just pointed out, they were subs they're now subsidised for £16 billion. Indeed. So if British Rail had had that subsidy, we'd have had one of the best services in the world. They were completely underfunded. The rolling stock was allowed to continue for 40 or 50 years. Indeed, we, we were using stuff from, the, from before the Second World War under British Rail. So given the funding that it had, it ran a remarkable service. Now, people just put these cliches around and don't uh, understand any of the challenges that British Rail had. We're not calling for British Rail to be brought back. We want a public service that's run in the interest of the people, that's run in the interest of our economy, and indeed in the interest of the environment in our country. And we can get that if we get rid of these corrupt practices that we've got, where people are taking subsidy and delivering that to shareholders directly from the pockets of the taxpayer and the fair payer. And in the meantime, they can't run a service. This government has admitted that five of these companies cannot run a railway. That's why the Tories have re renationalised them. I and mean, indeed, one of them, South Eastern, they declared that they could not be trusted with public money because they were cooking the books a couple of years ago. So it's hardly a panacea, uh, no. private sector operation. And